as you can see solid crack it's absolutely glorious but that's on us all day now so we've got the factor 50 on just need to find my hat for the um, bubble pod so we're getting these last couple of brick out and this happened from berries back at berries yeah we're uh, doing something different today we're looking for rosemary tiles for this wonderful job why is that the reason we're filming is because in 36 years i've never done the rosemary tile over sailor but um on this job we're going to be putting new engineering bricks the soldiers and the gauge is wrong so you use this like, to bring the gauge back in and have a little bit of an overhang on it so we're here to get berries to get a load of these. We look at the tile and a half, but they're a lot, they're double the price of a tile, so it's better to get the tiles. So I just need to work out the length and see how many you need. I think you need about 40. So uh it's camped up. I'm sorry to interrupt there, Alex. <laughs> there you go. Back at the lintel section. Uh, down at the long end, 3.3 meters. God, they're big. Yeah, we're not getting, we're not after them. We're after 2.7. So here we go. 2.7, 2.7 angle iron, and we need one 2.4. So everything's in stock, thank goodness. Yeah, 2.4, 2.7 Keystone angle irons. So we're gonna get them in the van now. Right, that's just cost us half a day. Running around picking stuff up from berries and Fairwoods and Hodgson's and going paying for t-shirts and stuff, so we're back. As you can see, solid crack. Because judging by where that brickwork goes in line with that brick, there's no lintel under this. It's just one of these funny lead trays. So our job now is take take the three quarter soldiers out, take these two courses out, investigate what's behind it, put it back properly. So it's, it's, well, it's about half past twelve now. So oh yeah, we're going to put um, proper vents in instead of these uh, the old weep holes used to put in. It's absolutely glorious, but that's on us all day now. So we've got the factor fifty on. Just need to find my hat for the um, bubble pod. So first job is get the reciprocating saw in here and start coming across and see what see what it's like. These are all getting binned. We've got fresh red engineers to go in here with the creasing tile on top, which Alex is bringing in now, the rosemary tiles. Never used them before in my life, never done this kind of thing before, so first time for everything, eh, Al? Why? Right, let's get this out. Right, we are back from our across the UK run for all our stuff. Here it all is. We've got got some strong boys from Hodgins, got some bricks from Fairwoods, got some rosemary tiles from Berries, got our straight heads from home. We've been everywhere today. <laughs> it's been a bit of a long morning slash afternoon, but it's just what you gotta do sometimes to get all your stuff. But as you can see, that's all for all three lintel jobs. Um, we've got how many was it? 40 tiles? 40 tiles? 42. Got 42 tiles, got 100 brick, just to uh, make sure we've got enough, because obviously with it being soldiers, we need these to be in nice condition. So I'll pass you over to Dad and he can explain the rest. Thank you. Right, first dodgy thing we found was this piece of timber holding this cavity, this lead cavity tray in. We haven't looked at what's behind it yet. I just assumed there's no no uh, angle ironing, but upon further inspection, there is 
that's that scabby little thing which is if you've got a 70 mil I forgot the bottom bit's called, you've got an upstand and then the bottom bit, whatever that's called. Put that in the comments if you know what it's called, I can't remember. The bottom bit, it's usually 100 mil, that's only 70 mil, so as you can see, the bricks are overhanging at least 30 mil over the lintel, so that's going to come out. While, while we've got the thing open, we're going to get rid of this, put a plastic one in, put it in properly, insulate it and put a get rid of this stupid thing and this this trim here get rid of this as well that shouldn't be there like i say water gets down behind this trim goes back in it doesn't really work unless it's sealed perfectly along there which it isn't always the uh, top bit came out really easy because it's like the original build of this so it's lime mortar which has been repointed but this bit where it's been rebuilt is solid sand cement so it's not fun so um, back on time lapse for a bit while we get some more of this out and get one of these acros put in. So we're getting the last couple of brick out and this happened. This link. What the hell is that all about? So that teeny little tiny lintel was sat on, I don't know what. Look at that lint. Look at the rust. Prime example of how it glows and expands. And it's that rotten. Didn't take the loose stuff out. You're left with that, just a razor edge. So this brickwork isn't sat on much, is it? And that's actually what the actual lintel was sat on. Bit of brickwork there. I can't see a damp course, oh there's a damp course behind it maybe. So that needs to be a full brick for our lintel to go on. Um, our lintel's coming to 200, so our upstand is going to go there. I think. No, we're coming to that, we're coming to that course. Yeah, so our upstand, oh, I don't know. It might have to go in there. We'll see anyway, let's keep getting these bricks out and seeing what other horror stories you find. Yeah, but that's bad, that. Shut up. What's left of it?
shit show. <laughs> um, Put it nicely. Yeah. The, uh, the tray's been removed. You can see where the old tray used to be. But it's been chopped off and then they just held a bit of lead in with two bits of wood. There's the uh, wood again. Just held it with two of them. It was in three pieces. This piece was held together with a flash band. And this piece was held together with some weird looking tape, wasn't it? Yeah. Like shit, wasn't it? Yeah. But anyway, it was hard to get this up because it was stuck. It stuck down with silicon. But got it up. This is coming up in a minute too. So, as you can see, you just watch yourself there. Out, but I guess the silicon broke. The seal broke. It actually felt like they'd screwed through it, but I couldn't see any screws, so it was just silicon. See if we can manage to get this out. It shouldn't be too heavy. Not much out there, does it? Let me uh, set you guys up so Stick I can. On the ladder. There's all the silicon that's sticking it down. That took some getting up that, and there's there's the rust damage underneath. Well. I think it was in need of a change. What do you guys think? I think I bet it's lasted over 60 years though, so it did its job. For what it's worth, it did its job. Yeah. Okay. Now it's time for the new one to do its job. Yeah. Look at the. Um, we're filming them, but look how thin that is when you take the uh, the bust. There's the, the proper thickness, and then it, that's when you take the flakiness off it. Yeah, not yet, mate. Got to get the seating done first. I know. There you go. Alex has just brought a link around. As you can see, a bit more of an upstand. A bit more of a bed on it. I don't know what the base bit is. Anyway, so the upstand takes the flex out of it. I've got plenty of room to get that in. I think we're going to try and get the train first because it's going to be very awkward getting this train. I think we've got, instead of trying to thread it into that, we're just going to bring it up, kiss it against the brickwork, and seal it. Get silicon to seal it, it'll be nailed in with twist nails, so it's not going to go anywhere. And there's never going to be any water running down that face at all. You're in serious trouble if you have got water running down that the back of that brick. So, as long as it's attached to that skin, quite a substantial lintel they've got in there, bone dry. I would say good morning, but it's not exactly a good morning, and uh, I was wrong about my last prediction. I didn't know we don't have a motivation. It is uh, currently raining. Not very nice either. We uh, took a gamble with this weather because it said it would stop, and we lost this time. So, uh, but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. So, uh, right now. Got the mixing straight away, and um, Dad's managed to get the pipe moved over for the for the dry event. So now instead of it being on top of the lintel, it's now gives us a bit of space over. So we're just going to try and make do with the weather while we can. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can set you up somewhere without it getting too drenched. But uh, catch you in a minute. There you go, we have a little intro by Alex. Lines up, We've got our bricks in for our seating, so we're back up to lintel height. And there you go, there's the pipe nestled nicely into the cavity, which gives us uh, our 200 seating for our lintel. As this lintel is 2.4, the opening is 2 metres, so we've got 200 seating on this rather than 150. So, um, yeah, we're going to get this lintel now and get it in place. And then we can patch up here, get the soldiers across.
Bogu. Oh, you should have asked for help. You should have asked for help. Yeah. 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 Alex has pulled his back trying to get the still saw started, so we've, we've not had it long, we've fell out with it already. The last two times we've used it, we've had trouble getting it started. So I'm going back home and get the electric one, even though it's raining. Uh, yeah, quick one. This is right. <coughs> the old Steve and Alex catchphrase, this has been a right pain in the arse. It's not Steve and Alex, so it's not a pain in the arse. No, we've got noggins here for some reason between the lintels, so I've had to cut the insulation around every noggin and uh, this it's like it's 100 mil thick in this bit so that's took me off an hour just to throw that bit in so now we're going to put the lintel back in which we had to take out and then um, try and get some brickwork done Silly try Yeah <laughs> Right let's get this thing back up
when it comes to days like today, you've got to take the small victories when they come. And today, and right now, we've just had our first small victory. The soldiers are in. That's the bit I was dreading. <laughs> For you, the Everything bit... else has gone to shit. The bit that I was dreading has actually gone okay. This has been the smoothest part. Yeah. But there you go. Rural soldiers in, and the wheat vents are in. They're all going to get jointed up properly in a minute by yours truly. Six inch strip of insulation to go in there, and we're ready. Yeah. Get this rest of the brick working. Now we've got to head back. Well, Dad's going to head back and get the grinder because still source doesn't work. And so once he's back with that grinder, I'll cut them flags. Not flags. The tiles. I'll cut the tiles. Yeah, that's another thing as well. We'll weather strike in the face work because it matches the. Well, but why else would we be doing weather striking? Because it matches, obviously. Bloody hell. So I'll get I'll get this uh, jointed up a bit then. Dad will be back with this grinder and I'll start cutting. So that's why I'm wearing ear defenders. So see you in a minute. Bit small bit number two. We've got it going. firing all cylinders now so once we've got this tile course across we can get the top course of brick in and those few in there and we can get cracking on with that one no with that one yeah so I'll leave it there get back in a bit Welcome back. Well, we did some moaning about that one. Turns out that was the easy one. Looks smart though. The reds and the tires on top. Just got to get that um, cover back on there and get a trim underneath on there, which I'll have to do on all doors. Uh, but this is uh, this is the problem. That. Is just the pits. Can't tell you how fed up that it's made us. I'll show you the lintel. It's so annoying because someone's come along and done all these three cavity trays and just left the lintels in. And look at these lintels. Absolutely disgusting. You're going to open the wall up, put new lintels in. Look at the state of that. Just disgraceful. Again, 
Lindley sat down and then he put a piece of brick in front of it. So any water comes down, hits the back of that brick and sits on the lintel and just rots it. It's just, I don't know. It's not good. So, I have extra insulation, these weird cavity trays in. Don't know what that was doing. It was nailed in for some reason. And over here. Looked like they put one here and got bored. I think we might just get in there with ours. We might have to go into there with ours so we can get down and over. But uh, certainly got plenty of room to move to maneuver now. There's the old insulation in to stop the other stuff dropping. Don't bear in mind we've lost all this. All this has gone down there, all over the freaking place. Now this span is this opening is 2.4, so that's what's spanning 2.4 meters. Poxy little scabby little, it's never been painted. Anyway, mown over. This was all loose, that's why it's come out. This bit's solid, I've just propped it for safety. It's going nowhere. Solid. So, get this end out now. See where it's dropped. But we've obviously got to come out a bit further than that. So when we, when we come out a bit further, we'll put the prop under there. So, good state of it. And what is that all about? But we need to put it right, like that. Same as the one on the other end as well. So, we're here, so we've just got to crack on. We'll see you in a bit.
Right, you're not on the job now. You're in the office. Bit of an abrupt end is that video. The reason being, it was it was priced as a three day job. It took us four and a half days in the end. As you'll see, we had a right struggle on it. So the, the end was a bit abrupt and it wasn't really very structured at the end. We sort of finished one and jumped straight into another at the end of the video. So um, the plan is, this is the end of part one. So stick around for part two. And we're going to put the whole job into two parts. So part two, you'll see us finishing off the left hand side and going over and doing the right hand side. Um, they probably got worse and worse as we went. We probably did the easiest one first in the middle. The left hand one looked worse but it wasn't as bad as the right hand one. But uh, yeah, we managed to get done in the end. So um, this is the end of part one. So um, if you like the video, hit that like button. And if, you, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm not very good at this, this is Alex's bit. And um, we'll um, catch you on the next one.